Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about parking brakes and a lot of people seem to be concerned uh, in my videos when I pull up the parking brake uh, but I don't push the button in and you hear that ratcheting mechanism uh, and they're saying you know that's going to cause unnecessary wear. So in this video I want to clear up some confusion and show how this actually isn't causing any unnecessary wear and we'll talk about how the parking brake itself works as well. Now the way the parking brake works is pretty simple. So when you pull up on the parking brake that pulls on a cable and that cable is what's going to pull on uh, the rear brakes and so it's going to apply pressure to those rear brake pads and this is a purely mechanical system. So here you can see how the ratcheting mechanism works and then when you push that button in you release it so that you can unlock it and then you can put the parking brake down and as you can see when you pull it up without pushing the button in that uh, just clicks along and, and locks in place uh, at your final stop wherever you pull it up to. And looking at my car here, you can see that there's not really much wear on it. This is a 17 year old car with well over 100,000 miles and the ratcheting mechanism is in great shape. Now anecdotes don't exactly tell the whole story. So just because my car, uh, you know, has it in great shape doesn't mean that all cars uh, won't wear out. So the thing to think about when thinking about wear is that what causes wear and really wear is caused by heat. So for example, if I were to take this brake pad and you have it spinning really fast, uh, you have your disc spinning really fast and then you apply the brake pad to it that creates a lot of heat and so as these materials heat up they'll wear much much quicker so for example if you go out on a track day uh, and you know you're constantly driving out there on the track you're gonna wear out your brakes and your tires really fast because they're gonna heat up quite a bit they're gonna be really hot and you're not gonna give them time to cool down so the tires and brakes may only last for the day versus if you're driving out on the street where you're giving plenty of time for them to cool down you know you get up on the highway and then you come to a stop, you drive a little bit in the city and you come to a stop, you're never really getting your tires or your brakes really hot so they can last 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 miles. Well the same logic is going to apply here with the parking brakes. So as you pull that ratcheting mechanism up you've got a difference in speed there uh, but the difference in speed is very low and you know because of that you're not building up much heat and so without much heat being built up uh, there's not really any wear that's going to happen so this is metal on metal contact and you know it's going to last uh, definitely for the life of the car. If this thing is worn out, the car is probably not working at all anymore. Uh, so this is probably one of the least of your concerns uh, as far as wear on your car is that ratcheting mechanism wearing out. Now another great example of one of these ratcheting mechanisms that you're all used to is a socket wrench. And so it uses a very similar mechanism and saying like, oh, you shouldn't, uh, you know, pull the parking brake up without pushing the button in. Uh, it's very similar to saying, well, you shouldn't use a socket wrench uh, in that reverse direction so you should instead put it on the bolt tighten it uh, and then when you need to tighten it more remove it you know turn your hand to go on there instead of you know the way it's actually designed to work you're not going to wear this out simply by doing that that's how it was built that's what it was designed to do and it's really the same case uh, with the parking brake it's designed to have those clicks and so it locks into place and you don't really have to worry about the life of it uh, you know just make sure it stays clean mine's gotten a bit dirty uh, from all the crap that I have in here uh, but aside from that you know honestly these things are going to last and it's not a wear item that you really need to be concerned with so thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below hello everyone and welcome in this video we're going to be talking about gasoline versus diesel engines and four major differences between them so in front of me i have a single cylinder four-stroke gasoline engine and this will be very helpful in demonstrating how these engines work differently so the first thing we're going to talk about is perhaps one of the biggest differences and that's how